And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time search source, a web exploitation challenge. Description, the developer of this website mistakenly left an important artifact in the website source. Can you find it? The website is here. And our hint is, uh, how could you mirror so that you can use more powerful tools for searching? All right. So, we can see there's this web page here. We could open developer tools. We could inspect the source. We could look. We could search for something like Pico. We don't find anything. Maybe search for flag. We can see here we have a comment. Uh, comments are things that don't appear in the actual display, but Developers leave them in so they understand what's going on. So uh, it was suggested that we try to pull this down so that we have more powerful search tools. So let's try doing a wget on this for uh, webget. We're going to recursively pull everything into our current directory. We can see we pulled a ton of stuff. Now let's open that. So we have this CD. Uh, or the Saturn Pico Net folder. Let's go into it. And we're going to use grep, which we know and we've used in prior challenges. And we're going to look for Pico. Uh, we're going to want to look recursively for Pico in every file. And what we find is in CSS slash styles.css, we have this flag. Let's just confirm it on the website. So I'm going to go down here into sources. We're going to look at CSS and then style.css. And we can see it right there. Um, just since this went so quickly, it's worth talking a little bit about the overall structure of this website and um, how to kind of sort through quickly and understand what's important. So a lot of these files, you see how they end in .min.css? What that means is it's minimized, so it's very difficult to read, and it's probably all library code. So for example, this is Bootstrap, a third-party library around uh, display, Carousel, that's, if we go down, I think they had a carousel somewhere, but it's, it's a, an image thing where it goes around in a circle. There, there it was. Do you see how this rotates? So that's a carousel. So um, this is not our code. It's just code that we include to have additional functionality, responsive. Um, I'm not familiar with this one. It may not be someone else's stuff. But you'll see the same thing down here in the JS. You can see we have jQuery, that's a popular library, Bootstrap, popular library, jQuery again, Owl, Popper, and then we have custom. So custom is more likely to be our stuff, and that's more likely to be things we're interested in. So if you're searching, I would rule out those areas, uh, and then eventually you can go through them. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe, send me money, et cetera, et cetera. Thanks. Bye.